Hey guys, it's Minius. This is the first part of the first set of lore videos, and for those of you who know a bit about the backstory of Mass Effect, you may think this is a strange place to start. Because the Rachni Wars took place only a few thousand years before the start of the trilogy, and the complete Mass Effect timeline goes back a whole lot farther than that. Try one billion years. But I'm starting here, because the Rachni Wars probably had the biggest impact on shaping the galactic civilization you find in Mass Effect. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? And after that you ceased to be useful. The Rachni Wars were a series of conflicts that started more than 2100 years before the start of the original Mass Effect. A group of Solarian explorers opened a mass relay to a new system and found an unknown sentient alien race who quickly captured their ships. These aliens were called the Rachni, an insect-like race with a hive intelligence run by queens. The Rachni bred incredibly fast and were highly resistant to both toxins and radiation. However, they were not new. The Protheans had actually discovered them 50,000 years earlier and bred them to fight in their wars. However, the Rachni turned on the Protheans and the Protheans decided to wipe them out. But the Rachni are incredibly difficult to eradicate, as the new civilizations of the Milky Way were about to find out. The Protheans never succeeded, even though they thought they did. The Rachni burrowed deep into their homeworld of Suen, and while they waited, the Protheans were swept away by the Reapers. Over the next 48,000 years, they built up their civilization, became spacefaring, and strong enough to capture those Solarian explorers when they showed up. At this point, the Rachni did not possess faster-than-light technology, but they were able to reverse-engineer the engines of the Solarian ships, mine an Ezo deposit on another planet in their home system, and soon began to pour through their now-operational mass relay. This proved to be a disaster for the citizens of the Milky Way and their council. The Rachni were hostile, aggressive, and far too numerous to deal with. What made this worse was the fact that there was no way to communicate with the invaders, as the queens never left their nests, which were primarily on incredibly toxic or otherwise hostile planets. But why were these Rachni so aggressive in the first place? This actually isn't known. When Shepard has a conversation with the Rachni Queen on Novaria, the Queen seems to think that they weren't acting of their own free will, and that someone was forcing them to fight, or had them under some kind of mind control. The obvious culprit here would be the Reapers, who can indoctrinate other species and order them around however they like. Another possibility was proposed by Dr. Bryson in the Leviathan DLC. He thought a mysterious unknown being was attempting to create an army to fight off the impending Reaper invasion. Of course, this being turned out to be an ancient sea race known as the Leviathans. Although outside influence on the Rachni seems likely, there isn't anything that confirms what actually happened. For the current races of the Milky Way, though, that didn't really matter, because they were completely unequipped to deal with the Rachni threat. The Rachni queens could breed from unreachable spots, and the Turians with their powerful military hadn't yet shown up on the galactic scene. Fighting went on for about a hundred years, before the Solarians believed they found the solution in the Krogan. About 2,000 years before the Krogans were found by the Solarians, the Krogan had discovered nuclear weapons and quickly blasted the crap out of each other, turning their home planet of Tuchanka into a radioactive wasteland. However, the Krogan were tough. They had evolved under very difficult conditions, and although their home was near uninhabitable, they endured. A tough species like the Krogan was exactly what was needed. The Solarians pulled them off of Tuchanka, taught them how to use modern weapons and technology, and then sent them against the Rachni. Heavily resistant to both toxins and radiation, the Krogan could strike at the Rachni Queen's burrowed on harsh and hostile worlds, which is something the Solarians or the Asari never could do on their own. The Rachni were then slowly pushed back over the next couple hundred years to their home world, where they either refused to or were unable to surrender. The Krogan didn't hesitate. They bombarded Rachni cities on the surface, followed the population back to their underground nests, which they then invaded and destroyed with ginormous bombs. Within 200 years of the Krogan entering the wars, the Rachni were declared extinct. Now this normally may have been a bit much for the Galactic Council, but there really didn't seem to be another option. Their relief over the end of the Rachni Wars was fairly short-lived, as the Council had really just replaced one quick-breeding, ultra-durable, and highly dangerous hostile race 
with another. But more on that on the next bit of Mass Effect lore. If you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps out the channel. Keep an eye on Mini SGC for that next lore video, as well as more Mass Effect videos. But for now, I should go.